How does Zypex do with movement? If we're talking about crystallization, we're thinking of a static wall, and what if it's subjected to movement like in the case of this bridge? Well, in 1996, the Engineering Society in Japan decided to test Zypex under movement, and they basically sprayed the underneath side of this bridge deck with Zypex. It was leaking profusely. It was looking like this. We've got the girders of the bridge, and you can see the efflorescence coming through the cracks that are leaking. And they, instead of routing those cracks out to repair them, they just spray coated this underneath side of the bridge with Zypex concentrate, allowing it to chemically diffuse and to heal up the cracks. But the theory is, is that as the cars and trucks went over that bridge, they would break those crystals and it would leak again. And so they took and they cored nine cores through those, right through the middle of those cracks, and they put them in a machine that subjected it to uh, a thousand psi of of pressure on the right side going up here. That's the pressure in the machine. These three cores are the control samples, and of course they just leaked right through this eight-inch core that subject to a thousand psi, just leaked right through. But these six cores had Zypex in them. These three, as you can see, were healed completely up, even subjected to the physical water in that test. These three, however, leaked slightly. But the interesting thing here is that as the water, the, the physical water uh, reacted to the chemicals, even against the hydrostatic pressure, a healing started to take place. And by the end of this test, this is zero hours right here, and 16, at the end of that test, we have zero leaks coming through the concrete. And so the conclusion is that the Zypex crystalline treatment is effective in improving the durability of the concrete deck plates under continuous and repeated load, and thus a waterproofing effect resulted. So what we're talking about here is durability of concrete. We used it in this project where this basement was leaking profusely and was, had a double membrane in the basement. It was repaired with Zypex, and this one was uh, done as an admixture project. This is the kind of thing that we can do with Zypex in repairing concrete against a hydrostatic head. This is a before and after of an actual wall that was repaired with the Zypex patch and plug and concentrate materials. This is the fourth largest continuous pour in the world, a big skyscraper built on top of this set of uh, footing and foundations. We have 18 foot thick uh, floors here that support this building and when you get that kind of of um, depth in the concrete, the concrete heats up and you get uh, thermal shrinkage cracks that, that can occur and Zypex actually lowers the heat of hydration in the concrete. We use it a lot in precast structures and shotcrete design. Here's a project in the middle of the Salt Lake Valley where, in, where we incorporate the Zypex admixture and dry shake, admixture in the walls, dry shake on this series of forms on, on the base, and then we're utilizing an injectable water stop that we'll talk about later as part of the Zypex Admix warrantied system. This was built in a high water table area with zero leaks.